and we're back, so let's decide. <laughs> let's when one considers the grander scheme of things, is giving up cheap ale not a small price to pay for the protection of their very lives? Yes, we are moving. No, we are all plowing alcohol. What's the over? residents of Millfields will be most pleased. They will find it money well spent, and I find it money well received. <laughs> Let us move on to other matters, Your Majesty. You have a busy day in the throne room ahead. Rule on the possible reopening of Brightwall Academy. Nope, not happening. Consider proposal to drain Bower Lake, of course. Meet with concerned and wealthy citizen, which means river. Samuel, the head of the Brightwall Academy, is ready to plead his case. I sincerely hope he isn't after a handout, though I'm sure Master Reaver will be the voice of reason, as always. I always said it. So, well, let's meet with them. Hmm. Cause why not? By the way, do we have anything else to do? Let's see. Wheel of Misfortune. Temple's treasure. Ooh, that's nice. Gift food for yeah, this is nice as well. Island got gateway. So we have a couple of things left to do. So but that that will be after we're done with this audience. The queen. Indeed. It's me. Today, you decide on the status of the Brightwall Academy, Your Majesty. Samuel will speak for the town and its scholars. Reva will dispute his cause. You may speak. <clears throat> your Majesty, it was your father who opened the doors to Albion's greatest seat of learning. Under his rule, knowledge and culture flourished and so did the people of Brightwall. I ask only that you return to the wisdom of those days. Your brother closed the academy down, but it is in your hands to restore it. There is no greater proponent of the arts than myself. I celebrate knowledge in all its forms, but our people are frightened and confused. The last thing they need is knowledge. Allow them the benefit of ignorance. Let only those who are truly prepared make use of the academy. The elite of our society will pay handsomely to indulge in erudition. Uh, but, but, but only the rich will be able to afford to learn. Precisely. Why give wisdom away when one can charge for it? What do you wish to do, Your Majesty? We'll make them pay. The Bright Wall Academy will be reopened as promised. But we will charge admission fees. Well, worst, worst case scenario, we'll just recreate the United States of America system of education. What can go bad, right? Very well. But I am deeply disappointed you have broken your promise. Very good. I will make arrangements at once. Good. Stimulate your intellect in the newly reopened Brightwall Academy. Suckle the knowledge from the land's greatest minds and avail yourself of the best library ever assembled. The reasonable enrollment fees are within reach of almost 1% of the population. So don't delay Brightwall Academy. As long as you earn, it's the place to learn. The court summons Page and Reba. The matter before you today is the future of Bower Lake. Reva will offer his proposal. Page will stand against him. You may speak. Your Majesty, a recent survey of Bower Lake has found that the waterbed is rich in valuable metal. Now, as amusing as it would be to make workers hold their breath as they mine these resources, I fear it would be impractical. 
Instead, we have no choice but to dam the river and drain the lake of all water. Once that is done, we will have a ready-made quarry ripe for the plucking. It will be a pity to disfigure the landscape so close to my former home, but it is a sensible course of action in light of our current need. Bower Lake is the last piece of natural beauty remaining in Bowerstone. It belongs to our history and should be protected. Don't take it away from us. You'll be taking away part of this city's soul with it. Oh, really? You may not have improved the people's lives inside this city, but are you also going to destroy the one place they can find peace? Yes. The decision is yours to make, Your Majesty. That's what we're doing here, Paige. We need the resources in Bower Lake. It will become a quarry. The Queen has ruled. Bower Lake shall be drained and mined for resources. I applaud your enterprising spirit. The lake shall be drained at once. I fought for you, but you've turned your back on your people. Majesty. Indeed, I did. Don't think about it too much. The ugliness of nature, so miserly in its gifts, its very lakeness, an affront to all good sense. Now, see it transformed into an exquisite monument to human ingenuity. Soil and rock offering up life and hope to thousands. How can one fail to be moved by such generosity? Reaver Industries proudly presents the Bower Pits. I trust the court was not too dull today. Mm. In any case, I'm confident your final task will be most enjoyable. A loyal and wealthy member of our community has offered to make a sizable donation to our treasury. Her only request is that you go to Millfields to make the collection in person. A perfect chance to stretch your legs, your majesty. Millfields. Dead people. Sure, why not? Eh, Millfields. Yeah, no, no, it's wrong. This is it, this is the place. And apparently they've uncovered another cave that we can hopefully we can do it. Which will be probably the mine, but... Maybe we'll find something valuable in there. Of course, that's to be at nightfall. Everything is so... shiny during the night. That... That's new. And you thought I never went around this evil way before. Oh. Are those places open? No. But no. No! Shut up. Well, all those places are not operational. I think we've been here already. No, I don't think it's open. So, what a shame! At least we got rid of the bandits here. Am I right? Let's see, before we met, meet with this benefactor. Okay, but there are both balverines. I hate this change. Would you mind? Oh. I hate balverines. Already do. Okay, where is that case? Okay, slash. slash. Worry. There it is.
Meal fill mines. Okay. Ready. No, okay. No, we're not digging up anything. It's so bright outside that I can barely see anything on the monitor. Is there anything we can take? Okay, I see Tresty over there. So that answers my question. Yeah, so I can, as you can see, being evil is... Way more lucrative than being good. Over here? Okay, so it goes. Hmm. Can exit where exactly? Another trusty. No! Yay! No. Boo! You won't die. You better be quiet or I won't pay you. Not that you're probably getting paid or anything. Anything? No, I don't think there's anything on the tracks. No, we won't go there. Honestly, the first time I'm visiting this place. No, we're not digging up. No, we're not digging up any bodies. Get out of here. I'm trying. <laughs> and we still have 252 days. There's gonna be a rebellion. I don't care. You can tell how well the rebellion went when the Logan was in charge. Imagine how well it's gonna go now. And the hero, hero is the one to rule. Hmm. It's gonna be the pink lady. Oh, no. Yep, it's the pink lady. Madam, I understand you want to recover what you've lost, but those woods are simply too dangerous. Whoops. It would be suicide to enter them without combat experience, or training, or skill. Or being a hero. I don't want to enter them, I want you to. Right. I was talking about me. Oh, just forget it. Ah, your majesty, it's such an honor to have you here. If only fate hadn't conspired to make me look like a fool, I so wanted to make a contribution to the noble cause. Of course you did. the use of a priceless heirloom if we're all going to perish in who knows what frightful way. I had taken the statuette out of the family vault, ready for your visit, only for a common thief to take it in broad daylight. Can you believe it, your majesty? The thief ran yes. the woods, yes. and naturally the soldiers are too scared to follow. Why must the uneducated be so superstitious? But you know no such fear, do you? Find the villain, your majesty. He has stolen more than a statue. He takes with him the future of our kingdom. Wasn't that the... Yes, it was the Balfourine statue. Your majesty. Mm. The soldiers may be superstitious, but... There's no denying dangerous beasts lurk within. Are you ready for yeah. a king, then? I know about to you give you one. Succeed. Seriously? Thank you for finally hitting target that's... I swear. 
How did you become a hero will always be a mystery. Yeah, yeah, I know who the thief is, don't worry. You could have seen him just floating in the air. Looking for the statue, Your Majesty. Follow the White Valvary. Yeah. No, thank you. Really, I hate Valvarines. I hate them since the first Fable game, and I'll keep on hating them for the rest of my life. However miserable it may be, I really hate them. <laughs> yeah, but he won't enter the village. Sounds familiar? Right, you monster. Prepare to meet your... Oh, oh I'm so sorry. For a moment there, I thought you were a Belverine. And I Death can I get, get my get gun. What a shame. We burn silver nitrate in those lamps to keep them out. Kills them pretty quick if they hang around for too long. If a lamp goes out, well, I don't like to think what might happen then. One went out just recently, but we got it lit again fast. The man responsible, this bloke Connor, got punished. Severely. Before he disappears into the forest, he tells us there's gonna be a reckoning. He's probably in 25 different stomachs right now. That's my reckoning. <laughs> you can come on out, everyone! It's safe! Yes, but we were supposed to follow the Balverin. We ran that way. Your Majesty, I've been expecting you. Been through the village, have you? Charming Hamlet. It's full of warm, wonderful people who'll give you the shirt off their back and condemn you to death in one simple mistake. Anyone can fall asleep on watch. You exile him into this forest and call it justice. But enough about that. You're here for that statue. It's quite a remarkable thing. It did everything the legend said it would. And now I don't need it anymore. <laughs> it's funny how things change. So if you want to take it back to that prig in Millfields, it's yours. Nearly free of charge. All I ask is a small favor. Destroy those silver nitrate lanterns. Then the village will get a taste of justice. The choice is yours. And it's a simple one. How simple? If you decline, my brothers will kill you. Of course they will and will attack the village. Excellent. Soon we will feast on the bodies of those betrayers. Now go. Destroy all the lamps. You're a bit too cocky, aren't you? Return here. <laughs> I don't. I have honestly no idea what's happening with audio <laughs> in this part. But yeah, we're killing them. We're not. We won't leave anyone alive. But honestly, I think all we have to do is just slash them. Yep. Fire. 
won't have time to shoot me. There you go, guys. I won't help you. You do your thing. Oh, I can't get out. Oh, okay, so I, we have to wait and witness the reckoning. Okay, thank you. Guess they can do just fine from now on. Well, we, have to, we have to make sure they will be able to huh. don't know the statuette should be ours to take and we can stash it in our little in a hoard of gold I guess A quality shared by many of my former neighbors, as it turns out. Here's what you came for. Seems the least I can do. Visit us again one day when you get the chance. You'll always be welcome here. So hopefully that's... Balverine's done with... We, we shouldn't be ever again concerned. But getting attacked by them hopefully would like to see it otherwise <laughs> so now this village is empty there's only this chicken left I don't think we can repopulate this area well, we might send the fugitives and fugitives? Prisoners in here. That's better idea than the prison. And we don't have to worry about feeding them as well. No, I'm not listening to you. I just wanna fi want to find a way out of here. And I really hope they won't make the same same mistake about creating areas in Fable 4. I really do. If you want to make it open world or go back to the uh, areas from Fable 1 and 2, but don't make the same mistake as you did to Fable 3. Really. And what I mean is mainly the mapping. Because in Fable 2 you had this minimap that shows clearly where you are on the minimap and what or what are the other places you can go. I think it was the same You're in Fable did you 1. The did you recover the statue? Of course she did. She is the queen and thus infallible. If you will hand the statue to me, your majesty, I will endeavor to appraise it. There you go. You found it? Oh, I can barely contain my tears. Oh, excuse me, your majesty. I, I can't let you see me this way. Uh, and please, make, make good use of it. Of course I will. Nobles, always so melodramatic. Yeah, I know. As for this little item, it is every bit as valuable as I hoped it would be. The Prophet shall make a welcome addition to the treasury. Unless, of course... Well, it is your statue now. You could always opt to keep the proceeds for yourself and administer them as you see fit. 
What do you wish to do, my queen? Do you really have to ask at this point? Of course I'm gonna keep the money. And who could begrudge you such a trinket? Did you not risk your life to recover it? We are perfect. I will make sure it fetches a good price, Majesty. What do you want to take? With the fatidic attack not far away now, it is most encouraging to see the treasury doing so well. It makes one feel safer. I have taken to sleeping beneath the gold, actually. As for today's you know? first order of business, you may have heard about the dire situation the kingdom's economy finds itself in. Logan's policies always kept our cities on the edge of bankruptcy, and the panic caused by the fast-approaching darkness has only exacerbated the situation. I'm afraid the only way to stop this slide into ruin is to bail out Bowerstone's financial institutions. The people are looking at you to save them from economic disaster. But remember that doing so may condemn them to a much darker and bloodier fate. What shall we do, your majesty? Can I take old money? Let the economy collapse. Yeah, sounds good. A most astute and sensible choice. Financial ruin may bring much distress to your people, but the darkness brings certain death. Shall we proceed with today's agenda? I see the proposal to build a military outpost, rule on the future of Mist Peak, and commission the Albion army. Kaelin, the representative for the Auroran people, has requested an audience with you. The court awaits in the throne room. Sure, yeah, we are not going there. Instead, we'll take care of the temple's treasure. Because why not? Priestess Mara needs help pursuing the lost treasure of her temple. Yep. Please teleport me. I do hope my prices please you. No, they don't. Times are hard. Your nose into please, my, my shop business and you will find a Oh, be quiet, all of you. you really, I'm looking for one person. Everyone talks. Can I go down there? No, I don't think so. Arrogant will not find Really should kill them all. Mm -hmm. Is there something over there? Oh no, God no! I immediately, I immediately hate that I made that decision. Okay, thank you. And there's another silver chest. Can we open it yet? Mm, yep, indeed we can. Simmons shotgun. Lieutenant Simmons carry edition. How did it get here? Really? Okay, I think this is about the flowers. That might be it. I don't care. What? What did you find? <gasps> Book? Get away, please. Balverines? I've killed 50 of them. With nothing but a rusty cutlass. The moon? <laughs> I've been there. In a great moon. It's amazing. It almost never rains. Spells and that, I know them all. Cuisine, <laughs> every dish ever prepared, I've eaten it. Inventions, that was me. I invented them. Oh, and I wrote this book. Not impressed? Nope. Well, you would be if you knew I was illiterate. Huh? And paralyzed. And blind. Yeah. Your Majesty, welcome to our temple. 
I lament the forlorn state in which you find it. Before the darkness came, this room held our most sacred treasure. I had lost all hope of recovering it, for that would require journeying into the desert. We have lost so many people. Who among us would have the courage to face the sands now? Oh, that's all. Okay. You really have nothing else to... Thank okay. You. you will forgive me for not being more forthright. I am unaccustomed to asking rulers for their help. As for the matter in question, this chamber once housed the temple's sacred dyes. Our rituals cannot be completed without them. The dyes are made from rare flowers found throughout Aurora and the surrounding desert. Gathering them has always been a dangerous task, but when the darkness fell upon us, it became an impossible one. If you can find these flowers and bring them to me, I will begin making the dyes again, and perhaps our people can recover some of the faith they have lost. We will gladly share them with you, of course. Of course, I don't know whether we have some already. Give the floor. Oh, we have heard of flowers. Yellow ones. There you go. You have done a great service for us. On behalf of all Aurorans, I thank you. The yellow dye represents prosperity. It is used in times of shortages and famine. You're welcome, I guess. Red flowers. Okay, so we have a couple of those to give out. The red dye represents love in our culture. Whether that's shared between betrothed couples or parents and their children. Okay, that's all we have. Oh no. So let's check anything else. What do we have here? It's probably the temple. No, oh, the demon door. The same to the world on the south committed people can be to turn more convictions. We should be fine with that. Oh. I think we'll be fine. Nope, wrong way, of course. Um, hopefully we are evil enough. Anything in here? Unfortunately, no. I think we should be evil enough to open that demon door. I don't think we have opened any so far. And I just, I'm not willing to, to, to open the f one that's required to be fat and dress strangely eh, because reasons. There's no such thing. I'll take them all. Oh, thank you. Our town. Because, you know, fat and evil lady might be a really bad... Ooh. Mm. Uh, oh. I might... I might get in trouble for doing such thing. That's why I'm not willing to... What does this lead to? Aurora my oh, oh, I don't know. Don't remember this. And be another evil thing. What? So you have to do some evil stuff to see new places. We wouldn't be able to see that statue if we were good. So this part is new to me. Quiet. Oh, Justy. Can I 
exchange you for a cat? Oh, I think. Where are you going? Okay, so we need to find like six more. You. You're awfully useful lately. Please tell me I don't have to do them in right order. So we have two from this side. And tell me those are not timed either. Has broken. Please move. Thank you. Okay, fine. If that makes you go quiet, then okay, I'll take it up. Still, I think we need three more. If you see something, let me know, okay? Interesting. I keep hearing them. This one. You are scaring me, your majesty. I don't care. Go away. Oh, lemon. So many damn so I see one over there. Come on, move. Can we make it from here? We? I don't think we can. Yeah, okay, I did. I'm not quite sure where it went. There's still higher we can go. No, won't it take us back to entrance? Yes, it will. Oh, there it is. This might be the last one. Are you kidding me? Good. I can see all of them. There are two reds. There's one. There's one missing. Okay, give me a second, I have to lower the blindfolds. Because I really can't see a thing. Okay. Is this all my life is going to be? Okay, let's go back up here. Maybe there will be another one near the entrance. I haven't really checked that place. No, there's nothing over here. Think. 
I don't see nor hear. Well, I keep hearing that one. <sighs> this... Uh, I can't really... Oh god, I messed up it. I can't really place this sound anywhere. Well, it might be as well all of them. Down there, maybe? Well, I guess we'll just go all the way. Oh, it's up there. <laughs> yes. Thank you. That should be the last one. Or maybe not. Oh, God damn it. Wait, there are one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, there's eight. I don't know how many we've done. We are at six or seven. No, nothing. Okay. Hmm. Maybe there's something over here? Can I destroy those? No, I can't destroy the big ones. Oh, don't get stuck. Yeah, maybe. No, we can't get through there. Oh my god. Oh, we've got one from here already. can interact with the ladder. I thought I saw one over to the left over here, but this is just some bundle of rope. Nothing else. This will open if we find the last one. Just how the hell can it be? Okay, you know what? I haven't checked that angle. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna Google that. Mm. Okay. I don't see any over there. Okay. Aurora. Mm, oh, okay, Aurora Mine Flint. Click, flit, switches. Great. Come on, cooperate. Mm, this one should be fine. No, this is not fine. 
Mm, I don't want any video, really. Just want some photos. Okay, so let's go back to the entrance and we will go with that. We'll find this one eventually. Okay, so it says enter the mine and go up the first set of steps onto the raised platform. Look to the left and you'll see uh, a wrench foot switch waiting to be shot in its hole around the wall. Descend the steps on the other side of the platform and follow the walkway around. Cross the landing near the large statue. Uh, the large statue is where the gap separates from uh, the landing from a central platform. Face back towards the entrance to see if the switch in stone works in the distance. Over there. Go down this the oh go down these steps on the other side of the landing. The flip switch is stuck in the pillar. Down the stairs. It's stuck in the pillar uh, to the left of the steps. So it was over there. Wait, go down to uh, or this one. Which means we've got it. There's also a chest right next to it. Chest. We found chesty over here. Oh, there should be chesty then. There, there it is. This one. Follow the walkways down beside the statue. The next flit switch can be seen underneath the central platform in front of the statue. We've got this one. Continue along the lower level and follow the walkway back up. A melee fleet switch can be found in the corner of the next level at the bottom of the ramp. This one we found. Head up the ramp and turn left onto the landing at the top. So it means here. Mm. In the middle of the landing is a small roofed structure held up by four pillars. Oh, there it is! Usually don't look up. That should be the last one. I would have never thought to look up. That's still not all of them. Okay. Mm, the one is more of structure. However, four pillars and a flat switch can be found stuck into the underside of the ceiling. There is also a chest nearby. Go across the landing and find a wooden walkway in the darkness that connects to the next platform. You mean this? Okay. The next flat switch is in the pillar on the left as you reach the end of the walkway here. Continue across this platform and pass under the scaffolding on the left to reach all over lower level landing. Follow it around to the right and you'll see the final flit switch. In its holder on the side of the bar. Okay. So this is all of them, but uh, there's 
still no, there's still nothing happening. And I have to say that this one, I might know how to. Of course, I already read it, but the idea came to me when we were that there already. Wait. Okay, I have the right spell. Oh my god. Yeah, we have to light the braziers. I, they always seem so out of the place. Well, I guess this is the job well done. And now it works. Miraculously. Is this Simon says? Oh, thank you. Okay, now let's see. So they changed. I hate that song. Okay, thank you. So what do we have in here? Jack's hammer. I'm first we're using light weapon. Imbued with pure evil. Oh, I love it. This hammer was used by the infamous Jack of Blades to activate magical Foucault sites hundreds of years ago. Okay, you... <laughs> I'm... Wait, the wrong, wrong thing. I know I was Welcome supposed to, to use only light weapons. Blade, the pistol, but really, Jax, hammer, the evilest thing. I just can't. <laughs> I just can't leave it like this. We are evil. This is the perfect weapon for us. Okay. And by the way, let's go to the failed path, I think. Our first things first, let's go back to the city of Aurora. Okay. Just talk to me about finding the rare flowers. You will help me though. Yeah, this is really a pain in the butt to look for them. So for now we're gonna leave that. Gift wood for driftwood. Yes. Mm -hmm. I, although I think this will be a good one, but... We gotta do what we've gotta do. What do you want? You're the one who cleared the island of hops, aren't you? Yep. Great work, that, and we're very grateful. But do you think there's a chance that you could help us again? We want to expand our settlement, you see. Trouble is, we haven't got a carpenter to do the building work for us. I've written to one asking him to join us, but we need someone to deliver the letter. Will you do it? Can't you deliver the letter? Thank you. Take the letter to the carpenter's lodge in Silver Pines. Oh, god damn it. No. Oh. That's not gonna be half bad since we are fine with Balverins question mark. We should be fine. But I think Carpenter is dead anyway, so tough luck. But it's finally daytime in here. I can never remember there being day. We we were supposed to be friends, I hate you. Come on, get over here. Although I don't remember Jack using hammer, like, at all. To be honest, I don't remember him using any other weapon than magic. It, and it's you, I just... Oh, god damn it! I hate you. I hit. I. Well, I. Oh, I hate Belverins! 
I hate him so much. Uh. Okay, so don't don't sacrifice the whole village if you hate Wolverine like I do. No, it, oh, it gives you nothing. This gold isn't worth having to deal with so many of them. Seriously. No. Oh god damn it. Okay, you know what? Come on, get over here. It's a shame that we can move. How would this one even get hit? I don't know. Thank you. Now this place is infested with Wolverines and it's daytime! They usually don't get out in days, in daytime. There are no nocturnal creatures. And there are those villagers again. That makes no sense at all. Honestly. I hate poverty. Oh god! Just die already! All of you, just die! I think I should warn while it was jumping. That it's that. <sighs> Just why there's so many of them? At least give me some mercenaries. And I forgot to talk to the demon door. Okay, can we jump the fence? Please tell me we can jump the fence. Thank you. Oh god damn it, this place is also infested. Oh, some of the creatures. Okay. Just oh, just kill him. Thank you. Really? Yeah. I remember this house being empty and the carpenter dead. But look at him here, he's alive! Hello? Okay, you're the quiet type. Hello? Can we talk now? An invitation to Driftwood. Sounds great! I'm getting sick of these bloody Belverines anyway. You're telling me that, really? Is there anything else we can do real fast? Because I would really like to get an island. Actually, I'm interested in that, so... Shall we? I don't remember most... Well, not most. Some of these quests. I give hard cash for your unwanted goods on the Where is it? Oh! Necklaces, rings, what a... Other body decorations! Yeah. No, we've. I'm pretty sure read read that. Yeah. No, I don't want to see that. Well, we can read that. Anything interesting going on in the if you're not willing to read it, then fine. Who are you? Any chance of some help? I don't know. I could make it worth your while. Okay. I'm terrifically wealthy, you see. Uh, at least I was, until I lost it all on a game of dice yesterday. So broke. Now the debt collectors are out to get me. Oh. Just any kind of debt collector either, but the kind that always collects something, no matter what it is. 
like a head, for instance. Anyway, I've heard that there's a new settlement nobody really knows about yet. I should be fairly safe there. If you'll take me there, I'll share what's left of my fortune with you. Okay. You'll take me? Wonderful! Not because I'm, I'm sure nice, you're gonna pay me. About, really. Call hands. Can I just let them get killed? Um, keep up. Cheers for that, love. Yeah, and please, if, if anyone ever, if the fable four comes to life, please drop the glowing trail. And yes, I know I can turn it off. The thing is, whenever I turn it off, it takes. It requires me to restart the game for it to work. More of that. The next time I would to start the game, it would be on again. So, I have to start the game, turn the trail off, restart the game. The trail's off. Okay, so next time I try to play the game, the trail is again on. So I have to turn it off, um, restart the game, and then I can play. That's why I'm too lazy. You're doing that kind of thing each time. Fancy a game of cards? Maybe I can win all that money I owe. No? Huh. Probably just as well. I love gambling. It's just so. You know, exciting! Losing everything you've ever worked for on the roll of a dice. And I honestly Please, don't know. Maybe if I try to connect my game to Steam now, it would work. Just I brought it very long ago. It was still uh, a CD in a box. <laughs> Wait, I went, went the wrong way. So, come on! Make up your mind. Uh, yeah, yeah. I don't even think that it... No, uh, it had to have some CBK. You know, Looking registration key. Hmm. I don't know, actually. On the other hand, when I bought FIFA Pinata for <laughs> this horrible platform I'm not even gonna tell the name of, it didn't even have the activation code. It wasn't, it, and it wasn't second hand. No, no, it was a new, brand new package, mm, sir, in foil. Cards, you know. And when I confronted the shop about that, that it didn't have any code and it re the platform required me to write in the code for the game to install properly and was like, hmm, uh, they told me that, hey, maybe the code was on the foil that was, that the box was packed in and I was like, what? First things first, who? Second thing, why? And the third why would it be so stupid? Uh, yeah, so imagine there was... I, I still don't know why the, my version of the game didn't have the registration code. I still have the box. I still have the CD. Maybe I'll invest the rest of my money in this new place. Perhaps I'll build a casino. All in all, I didn't get to play the game back then. 
But a couple of years later, came out the Xbox One. Then came the Xbox X, I think. Then I got myself the Xbox One, which was like half the price. Uh, Uh, half the price uh, uh, half of the orig original price be because it was all digital edition as well so I can't really get any CDs in it but at least it has the it has the game pass it has the game pass and I was able to play but guess what? There was another thing wrong with it. I could, I can't save the game now. Today you must decide how much protection to grant Aurora. Kaylin will offer her proposal. Reva will stand against her. You may speak. Your Majesty, as you know, the threat from the deserts that surrounds my city has not diminished. The darkness could fall upon us once more at any moment. Aurora is part of your kingdom now, and I ask that you grant us protection. Build a desert outpost that can warn my people should the crawler attack. It shall allow us to leave the city in time and ensure the survival of your loyal subjects. <laughs> a desert outpost? I've never heard such nonsense. What should we do next? Erect taverns under the sea? Plant crops on mountain peaks? It is a foolhardy suggestion. Why should our valiant soldiers suffer sunstroke and chapped lips in a distant land when they could be protecting the people of this very city? Is it really worth risking the lives of all the people outside these walls for a mere alarm system? Of course not. Let us leave the funds and the soldiers where they belong. Right here. The darkness poses a threat to us all. But Aurora has already suffered more than its fair share. The final decision rests with you, Your Majesty. I reject the proposal. An outpost would be a waste of resources. Aurora is safe enough for now. The Queen's decision is final. The military presence on the streets of Aurora is deemed sufficient for the protection of its citizens. It is heartening to see reason prevail. Bravo, Your Majesty, bravo. We saved your life once. Now you condemn us to death. Is that your idea of fair requital? <laughs> Bring forth Sabine of the Miss Peak Dwellers. Today you decide on the fate of Miss Peak, home of the Dwellers, Your Majesty. Sabine will speak for his people and their land. Reba will now that only four calls. people are moving and the rest is static. I come here <sighs> nothing but what was promised me and my people. You pledged to restore our home mountains and our right to dwell in them. We have fulfilled our end of the bargain. We have paid with our lives to sit you on that throne. Now you must fulfill your end. Undo the damage your brother did to our land. And our agreement shall be satisfied. Your Majesty, this sounds both an unnecessary expense and an impudent demand. What value is there in a few trees languishing amongst snow and rock? This is not the time to indulge some idyllic fantasy. Those forests are a resource, and we are in dire need of resources. I propose we expand on your brother's initiative and take what nature offers so readily. Say the word, and I will transform the worthless wasteland of Mist Peak into assets we can use to defend Albion. These hands are not yet so old or weak 
that I can't wring that pretty little neck of yours, Reaver. Huh. The refined retort of a true man. Actually, Reaver might be older than Sabine. than Sabine. But it's up to you whether you decide to yeah. honor it. Yep. He is older, so the word, Reaver. The forests of Miss Peak are too important to waste. I will really have to drop the, this Miss hat. Peak and its forests shall be logged to fuel the kingdom's defense efforts. You have made an enemy for life, Queen. Beware a second revolution doesn't take this land before you can save it. The forests of Mistpeak are our greatest national treasure, and now, thanks to Reaver Industries, you can enjoy them too. Ships, weapons, and furniture are just some of the many wonders available to you now. Remember, nature wants us to use her. Okay, but before we go to Hobson, I really need to get rid of the hat. Oh, God damn it, no. You've received additional articles of clothing. Yeah, I know. He had. Now that's better. Feel free to change the color of. I don't care about that wool. No, Jasper. God damn it. I always keep mixing them up for some re reason. Really? I know they're not alike. I don't know, just suits to mix them up. It is time, Your Majesty, to meet fate with steely resolve and commission Albion's army. We will no. use the funds we have to establish the best possible defense. Before I can commit those funds, however, I require your signature on a contract. Stating your awareness of the projected number of civilian casualties. Strictly a formality, of course. Though, should the number alarm you, you may wish to donate as much gold to the treasury as possible before you sign. Yeah, give me a second there. Just gonna do a quick transfer. It might take a while, so I'm gonna stack my e pad with. A rubber band, so I don't have to keep holding it. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna get myself some juice. Okay, we can. Hey. So we have. We'll stay here a while. This couple of times. Why can't I treasure? A little transfer? Oh, really? Can I all? Nope, I can't tr simply transfer all. Oh, this is gonna be so annoying. We have too much money. Well, at least it somehow remembers to do it fast. Oops. Yeah, sure. As long as I don't tilt the uh, left analog back to his normal position, we should be fine. Okay, treasure balance is zero. Great. Get rid of that. Now, if we were to do this, it should be empty. Very good. <laughs> if you could just sign on the dotted line. Please. I hear be an motion except that uh, sixty wait one two three six million and five hundred thousand of my subjects will die in the coming war. Yay Happy anniversary, your majesty. One year as queen Why is it so, still so full? Doesn't time just fly? I am delighted to say that the Albion army has been deployed in preparation for the invasion. 
so we may enjoy the occasion without apprehensions. To celebrate this momentous day, I have prepared some fantastic events. First, you will stand still for several hours while a local artist paints your portrait. Then, you will choose the 47 varieties of flowers you wish to be cast at your feet as you parade through the city. Oh, and you will need to sign thousands of autographs, of course. Let's see, you will also be fitted for a new pair of shoes. War, Hobson. There's a war. Coming. Thank you. I forgot her name. Oh my god, I really forgot her name! <gasps> What's some serious name? Teresa, okay, I'm, okay, it's Teresa. The Oof. day has come, <laughs> Queen. It is time for you to face the darkness. But you will do so in your true form. Over the past year, you have made decisions that reveal your nature and which have affected the lives of all your subjects. You have acted as a tyrant and exploited your people for Yes. Yeah. But you are more than a queen. You are a hero. You are Albion's champion, its protector. This coming battle is the reason you had to take Logan's place. Only you can defeat the creature that dwells in the shadows. If you do not, your kingdom will be gone, and you will die with it. Now go. Do what you were born to do. But let me get that my last magic upgrade, please. Yeah, thank you. Oh, it's melee. I don't think that's gonna change in any way. Nope, it didn't. It's not our weapon, after all. And we are not the ones to change it. It's here. The darkness has reached Powerstone. The attack has barely begun, but already we have suffered terrible casualties. We simply weren't ready. If we don't act quickly, there may not be a kingdom left to defend by dawn. We have to get out on the streets now. Today we fight After for you. Albion. For Albion. Just shoot them, man. Really, they're not so tough if you can hit them.
Okay, keep moving, guys. I know. was bad. There's only us left. There is no one else. And so I will summon my own shadows. Wait, don't go my way. Believe me, I'm trying. Oh, I missed. <laughs> been inside me all this time but it's light now I can see the sky and it's light <clears throat> I don't think I can fight anymore it's all over Walter we won we beat it together do you remember the stories I tell you when you were a child there was a great king once the mightiest hero of them all. Remember what you would say. Teach me to be a hero. You've done me proud. You've always done me proud. <sighs> oh, 
porta. I think old Walter would have liked it out here. He was always a fan of looking tall and stony. I can imagine what he'd say if he was here now. Shut up, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Well, Queen, old chum, ruler supreme, pal, you did it. You saved the kingdom. And it's time I said my goodbyes. I'm not cut out to be a general. Now, I think I'd like to start travelling again. Or maybe... See if Paige needs any help down in industrial. But before I go, let's send off our friend in style, shall we? This one's for you, Walter. This is the world as it could have been. Devoid of color, devoid of life. It is thanks to you that it isn't so, and you ruled as strong leaders should. It is not everyone who understands the necessity of making sacrifices. It is what fate requires of us. You were brave to break your promise to Sabine and his people. But it is through such decisions that wars are won and lost. You turned your back on Paige, but she dealt in ideals. A ruler must deal with reality. Is saving the lives of an entire civilization not worth more than the comfort of its citizens. You understood, as your brother did, that Aurora was a doomed land from the start. Saving Albion was always more important. Without the strength to make those choices, we would not be standing here now. Perhaps we shall meet again one day, Queen. Aren't you going to tell me my future? The future will reveal itself when it is ready to do so. Yes, and the future is Darkness will come back once you are dead and some random gypsy boy will have to save the world and destroy the spire again. Yeah. But that concludes the Fable 3. This was, I think this was my final <laughs> try my final playthrough of this game. I think it's my been sixth time total. And yeah, it was the first time ever I've decided to go full evil. Well, that was Fable 3. Hope you liked it. There are still Fable 2 and Fable 1 left to play. And then we'll have to wait for Fable 4, I guess. Once it's finally out of the development hell, I guess. So, for now, thank you very much for staying with me. Stay alive, and see you soon with some other game. Bye!